Hello everyone, good afternoon, welcome back to another Survival Mat episode. Today is another gear review, boxing, unboxing. Uh, got a little bonus from work, so took a little, a little extra money, went on Amazon and bought some stuff that was on my wish list, been there for a little while now. And uh, that's how we stay within the budget. So, let's see what we got. Isn't that weird so how many times you get a box from Amazon and tape and packaging is perfect? Other times it looked like it got beat up. Oh, what do we have today? Yay! All right, so many toys. Where do we start? All right, well, let's start here. This is the clean canteen. Pretty sure. Let's go. Hello, say hi, Zero. Zero. So this is my Weimar Reiner. He's a hunting dog. Very playful, abundant of energy. Say hi to the camera. No, you can't have the plastic. Get down. Come on, get down. Sheesh, silly puppy. Oh, and you can hear the, that other chain rattling. That is my Western Highland Terrier. His name is Winchester. <laughs> he is a hunting dog. Also, this one, say hi, Westy. This one is for hunting rabbits and what? Possums, rats. Rats, things that like to burrow. Things that like to burrow. He burrows after them. He has already got one rabbit victory under his belt, little hunter. And uh, very good, very proud of him. Self taught. Didn't teach him much. Um, it does a good job. But say hi. Say hi, ladies. Okay. Back to the boxing. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Clean canteen. These are single walled, just like I talked about in my previous video. They are large mouth. This is 40 ounces. Won't shatter or rust. It's toxic free. And it does fit exactly inside of one of the. GSI containers, like we talked about before. So to a lot of people, this is a, you know, your good water kit. It's got the perfect top, so you could hang it from a tripod or something and boil water. But, um, I mean, these things are just so well spoken of. It's ridiculous. So, clean canteen. We have a portable electronic scale that I bought because I don't, I want my bags, to, my bug out bags to weigh a specific amount. I'm kind of going at this like a hiker would where things have to have three functions. In addition to that, they also have to, you know, I'd like to, if I have to pay a little bit more money and have something that weighs half the weight, I'd rather do that. Uh, a big something military compass you know your old school solid steel green military compasses i mean they're very well uh spoken of everybody loves them they're also heavy very very heavy and you can get a cheaper or maybe not cheaper but a plastic version that does everything that that one does or more and it weighs half as much a quarter as much i don't know so i got electronic scale we keep our gear under what we want it to be. We have ah one of the black. So I got the black version of the pouches for the the water system here. It's got Molly clippings. Um, it's got carabiners on the top. Not carabiners, but clips for carabiners on the top. And it's got a spot for a patch and everything. And just like that, you've got a good system. Oh, yeah, grab it. This is made by Condor. It's pretty good. I want to got I got a second one. I think I paid ten bucks or twelve bucks for this. I'm not really sure. But um. This is me mirroring. This is the Dave Cattenberry Self-Reliance Outfitters. 
you know, if you've got, what's the saying, if you've got two, you've got one, if you've got one, you've got none. But this setup should look pretty familiar to everybody. Got the much bigger cups. I went and got the full setup. It's got the extra cup and the stove in there. But we'll talk about this in another video. This video is about all of our new toys. We'll talk about our old toys later. Speaking of Dave Cattenberry, uh, uh, I wanted to add two new books to our collection, to our library. Dave Canterbury. Dave, I'm super sorry if I'm messing up your name over and over and over again. But um, I got both your books. I look forward. He's got a new book coming out. It says it'll be available June this year. And I look forward to buying that book as well. It's going to be about, I think... Uh, in field medical treatment but this is bushcraft 101 and advanced bushcraft two more books i got them both on sale i think they were nine dollars a piece which you really can't beat for that kind of knowledge um all right i bought myself another mora and i bought another mora pro s and I see oh yeah and we bought two more mores no just three mores four mores all right so we got the wife uh, a second more for her bug out bag this one is just as you can see the more pro s the black one we got two baby blue ones. Blue is my son's favorite color. So we got one for him to use in his bug out bag and one uh, extra one. I'm not sure how we got the second extra one. And then I bought myself the Mora. This says Gerber Multi Melt. I thought this was the Mora Black. This one's a bit more expensive. This one was higher end I think I paid 70 bucks for it yeah right. look forward to playing with those then we got wireless flip pin oh this is a laser pointer this is for work <laughs> laser pointers are fun uh, I don't so I guess you could use them as signaling device on a bug out, but that's for work. Oh, you guys didn't see that. You saw nothing. Ah, here is the Silky Gom Boy. Now I'm gonna do a product review about the Gom Boys, but I uh, cannot speak highly enough about the Silky uh, Company and the saws they made. The Pocket Boy, the Gom Boy. There's a Big Boy and the Katana Boy. I actually own, this is my second Gone Boy. I own a Pocket Boy and I own the Katana. And I love them. They just, I know the Baca folding saw is kind of like the industry standard, but I'd rather just pay a little bit more money and get the Silky. They just, in my opinion, the technology, the pattern they have on the way the saw blades are cut are so much better in every way and uh, I've cut with both I've cut down small limbs big limbs with both and I just prefer the silky again it's my personal preference um, I just think they're that's a better tool and you know a budget conscious is important but I'd rather just pay just a little bit more and get such a better tool for what I got this is the utope well oh, that's something for my son man how did this stuff get in my box Son orders more stuff. Oh, there's another book. I knew I had three books. Another Dave Cattenberry book. Yes, I bought the whole line. Mm. And when he comes out with his other book, I'll buy that one too. So this is Bushcraft 101, Advanced Bushcraft, and the uh, Trapping, Gathering, and Cooking in the Wild book. Love knowledge. Knowledge applied. Knowledge is power. This is the Electric Light. Oh, that's the company. These are two, I think they're half inch ferro rods. Two piece half inch by six inch ferrocium rods. 
DIY survivals. This was the most effective, affordable way I found to buy ferro rods. Um, I can make my own wooden handle if I want to, um, but I don't have to. You could literally just put this in a lanyard um, and we're good to go. Or, you know, if they've got, you know they got the kits where they put it, the clip on the side of the mora over here, or if you get it where uh, the kydex sheathing, just get a half inch holder and then it holds it. It's beautiful. Let's get this out of the way. So here's paracord. I don't know why they're different amounts. That's kind of weird. Maybe they threw an extra. But I've, as you can see, this is all 550 paracord. It's 100 feet. Somehow we got a little extra 25 footer. Don't know what that's about. Maybe it was free. I'm not sure. But when you got to think about family, you want to think about who's got what and why. Remember my son, his favorite color is blue. So he got the blue mora and he gets 100 feet of blue paracord. One of my favorite colors is orange. So I've got the orange and black mora. And I've got orange and the wife. Hers is the darker plum or blue colors, which go with the Mora Pro S. So now everyone's got paracord with their favorite Mora knife. And so we can mark their gear and mark what they've got. Um, I bought this Marksman. It's the 3030 slingshot with the red band. The red band is supposed to be the strongest of the bunch. Um, I think slingshots, wrist rockets, whatever you want to call them, are very powerful hunting tools. In season three of Alone, the gentleman brought the slingshot and only tried, uh, spoiler, only tried to shoot a duck with it and it missed. Um, but I think this is a very lightweight, very versatile hunting tool that will be in my bug out bag. I have a second scale somehow. That's weird. I only bought one for sure. Got this on sale. I think it was like five bucks, seven bucks. It's the Coolahans, Coglahans. I don't know. Uh, grill. Very simple setup. I don't even think I want. You could even forego the these legs. But if you want to cook, you want to grill. Very thin, very lightweight. But, you know, you can have it set this up, build you a small fire under here, cook you a steak, whatever you want, dry out some meat, fish, food. And then the last two things, that's my wife. I think that's my smog. Yes. This is the military solid black smog that I got for my bug out kit. And that's it. That's it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it and like I said um, I think this entire order everything I got I think was under 200 bucks would have been cheaper than that but I uh, I splurged a little and got I got the second Mora should have got the second Mora well didn't need it I needed it who doesn't need it right Paracord, there's another knife, slingshot, freebie, silky, flip pin, and then the extra bag, and the clean canteen cook set. And yeah, not bad, huh? Thank you for joining me. See you next time.